Hey there, Sam from The Credit Frog. In today's video, we're gonna open a Morgan Stanley Access Investing account. Now, the reason why we're doing this is to be eligible to apply for the American Express Morgan Stanley Platinum Card. One of the requirements to opening this card is having an eligible brokerage account with Morgan Stanley, and the cheapest available option to do so is with the robo-advisor platform, Access Investing. As of the recording of this video, this card has a sign-up bonus of 100,000 membership rewards points after you spend $6,000 on purchases in your first six months of card membership. I recently opened a Morgan Stanley Access Investing account myself and realized along the way that this process was not as straightforward as I expected it to be. So I'm going to walk you through what I did and hopefully make this experience much easier for you if you're deciding on whether or not to open this account as well. But before we get into this video, if at any point you find this content educational or helpful, please make sure to hit that like button so I know you like this kind of content. Consider hitting that subscribe button down below as well as the notification bell so you don't miss any of our weekly content. Now with that out of the way, let's jump right in. So the first thing we're going to do is navigate to morganstanley.com. Once we get there, what I found to be the first issue on the website is that it's kind of difficult to figure out how to open an account. I mean, if you look at other websites that offer brokerage accounts, it's typically pretty easy to figure out how to open an account on their homepage. For example, on Fidelity's website, there's a button on the top left to open an account. On Charles Schwab's website, there's a button on the top right to open an account. And on Vanguard's website, there's a button on the top right as well to open an account. This is not the case with Morgan Stanley, so I had to do a little exploring. The first thing I tried to do was to sign up for Morgan Stanley online. I clicked on create a username, but unfortunately it looks like you need to already have an account with them to create a username online, so that didn't work. Going back to the homepage, I figured out that I can get to the right page by clicking on what we do and then by clicking on wealth management. Then I can scroll down the page where I can see what my options are to open an account. You can see from the screen that the only two options that you can do online are to open a self-directed E-Trade account or an automated access investing account. Unfortunately, the E-Trade account does not qualify you to open an American Express Morgan Stanley Platinum, so we're gonna go ahead and open the access investing account. Once you click on open an account, you're directed to the login screen, where now you can see the section here that says to continue as a guest if you're new to Morgan Stanley Online. So I went ahead and clicked that button. The Access Investing platform will guide you through several steps to create your account, starting with why you want to invest. We don't really have a goal here other than to open an American Express Platinum card, so we're going to select simply to build wealth. They'll ask you to name your plan, and you can name it whatever you'd like, but for this example, we'll just keep the default name, build wealth. The next screen will ask to collect some information to help build your plan. So let's click continue. And here they ask, how much do you plan on contributing? Now for the Access Investing account, there's a $5,000 minimum investment. But as we have all seen over this past year, so far in 2022, the market has been very volatile. And so you should definitely think of investing a little bit more than $5,000 to have a buffer for any market fluctuations or downturns. So for this example, I'm gonna put in $7,500. I'm gonna leave monthly contributions at $0 because I don't plan on putting any more money into this account. And then let's click continue. The next two screens will determine the investments in your portfolio based on your level of risk and your portfolio objective. Now, for those of us who are opening this account mainly to get access to the American Express Morgan Stanley Platinum, we're focused on trying to have a portfolio with the lowest cost, which would be the portfolio that has low cost index funds that is appropriate for our risk tolerance, which is going to vary based on our age and when we plan on retiring. Just to make it more clear for those of you that are interested, the conservative profile will divide your contribution into a 31-69% split between equities and fixed income. The moderate portfolio divides your contribution into a 66-34% split, and the aggressive portfolio divides your investments into a 77-23% split. We'll go into more details later in this video as we continue to move forward with opening this account. Now, I'm not gonna to focus too much on the investment portion of this, as this is not a financial advice and I'm not a financial professional. But for me, I don't plan on retiring anytime soon, so I have a pretty high risk tolerance. And I also want to minimize the amount of fixed income assets since this is a taxable brokerage. So for me, I'm gonna select the aggressive option. This next screen asks you what your objective is for your portfolio. Again, we wanna have the lowest cost investments, which would be index funds. So we're gonna select the option on the far right labeled lower cost investing. Just for fun though, I want to show you the other two options that feature something called thematic investing that Morgan Stanley offers as additional investment choices. If we choose outperform the market, you can see that there are six theme options and they consist of global frontier, defense and cybersecurity, 
genomics and biomedicine, emerging consumer, robotics, data, and AI, and inflation conscious. If we choose socially responsible investing, you can see that there are two theme options, and they are gender diversity and climate action. Although these options look interesting and fun to select, these funds consist of actively managed mutual funds with very high expense ratios. So again, because we're focused on keeping our expenses and fees as low as possible, this is something we want to avoid. So back to the main screen here, we'll select the lower cost investing option, which invests in an all ETF market tracking portfolio that tracks a blended market index. So as you can see, the aggressive portfolio has a 77% split to equities and a 23% split to fixed income. What you can also do is click on the button that says full model details and see which exact ETFs you'll be investing in. I've compiled the three risk profiles associated with the lower cost investing portfolio option so you can see the ETF breakdown of each one of these profiles easily. I'll display them one at a time on the screen, going from the conservative risk profile to moderate to the aggressive risk profile, and then we'll come back and finish opening the account. Okay, here we go. Once you click continue, the Axis Investing platform will run projections based on your choices and then ask you to create an online profile, username, and password. Once you register your account, you'll have to upload identification documents to complete the account opening process. After that, the next step was to wait for Morgan Stanley to check your documents and officially open the account. And this is what that screen will look like. Now keep in mind, at this point, they haven't acquired any deposit from you yet, even though you indicated that earlier what the initial deposit was going to be. I waited several days for my documents to be reviewed, but I was impatient since I had no idea how long they would take. So I called customer service a few days after I opened the account to see if they could speed up the process, review my documents, and ultimately open the account. Once I did that, the account was open about an hour later, and I was able to access the online interface. At this point, the final step is to fund the account, which took another couple days for the transfer to go through from my bank. Okay, so here's what the home screen looks like. I've already done this so you can see that my initial investment has already been invested. And since there's been some swings in the market, as we mentioned earlier, I'm down about $100 right now. But if you just open this account and you wanted to transfer money in, you would go up to pay, transfer and budget and click transfers. Then navigate over here to where it says manage external accounts. And from here, the website will walk you through how to link your existing bank. Once the Axis Investing account is funded with at least $5,000, congratulations, you can now open up the American Express Morgan Stanley Platinum Card. The benefits of this card as compared to the classic American Express Platinum Card would be the new signup bonus, if you haven't had this card already, as well as getting a free authorized user, which would normally cost $175 per year. Also, you have the opportunity to qualify for an engagement bonus of $695 per year if you also decide to open up a Platinum Cash Plus account with Morgan Stanley. There are more details and requirements regarding this, so I'll definitely cover that in a more detailed video in the future. All right, so I hope that this was helpful for you if you wanted to open up a Morgan Stanley Access Investing account. This is not necessarily the best account to open given how complicated it is to set up as well as the 0.3% advisory fee for a RoboAdvisor platform. But if you want to get the American Express Morgan Stanley Platinum card, this would be the easiest and most cost-effective way to get there. So what are your thoughts about this account? Do you think it's worth opening this account to get the Morgan Stanley Platinum card? Let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't already, make sure to check out our previous video that I did that goes into detail about whether or not the American Express Morgan Stanley Platinum card is right for you. I'll leave a link to that video as a card up on the top right, as well as on the end screen to help you get there. As always, have a great one, and I'll see you in the next video.